Having built our new family tree, we're now going to add some photographs to it to make it look more interesting. So we can simply do add pictures. Okay, so we've now copied our picture in and we've got a nice picture with a family group. So our next job now is to start making that more interesting by adding the photographs from there onto our diagram. So what we need to do is say we're going to add a new link and I can simply draw around the gentleman's face here. That's an individual. Now obviously on this example there are only a very few people in but as always you can use the filter box at the top to search down to the relevant ones or if you know the record ID you can key that straight in in the record ID box. So for now that's Crab James. Do the same again. And finally the little girl here is Irene. Now what I'd also recommend you do a date in for the photograph even if it's only approximate one and you may want to add in some extra keywords so you might want to add in crab because it's a crab family and finally you might just want to add a link in to say that this is this is a picture of the bus so this is crab family bus and any other information and you can also if you need to start doing advanced things like adding sources and the other final thing you can do is add a simple link so you could for instance add a simple link to a family and we've only got one family in this file so that's added a family link to that particular picture so if we now go back to our diagram we can see that we've added our photographs in and if we to select James Crab and do a family group sheet what we can see there is because I've added it as a family record it's now at the top of the diagram and with the cutout photographs down the side and with with our daughter there as well okay so that's all there is to adding standard media